My name is Mr. Maurice, and I teach seventh grade math and science, and I also work with instructional technology here at the junior high. And so I've been asked by the school and by the school district to conduct a few interviews and to sort of get an idea of what you guys think of Summit Learning. So if you will, let's just go around the room and introduce yourselves. I'm Hadley Lockridge. I'm Emily Weekly. I'm Mackenzie Smith. I'm Astacia McGee. I'm Aiden Welch. I guess my first question for you guys is, describe to me uh, what is Summit Learning? And then what's a normal day like in Summit Learning for you? Um, Summit is just learning on a computer, basically. and. Every day in class, we do more on computers, but it's still normal teaching from the teacher, just more of self-based learning. Okay. Um, our, like, daily routines or whatever, we just go to another class, we go to the computers, we do our lesson, and we get on the computers for the PLT time, and we just study and work on our stuff that we have to do. For me... Like, what we do every day is pretty much the same thing as Emily does, and most of the time during that period, like, during that time, some people try to goof off and do stuff on the computers, but that's the only time really anything bad happens. So do you think there are a lot of people that try to goof off? Yes. Okay. Why, why do you say that? Because there's a lot of people that are laughing in class a lot of the time, and there's re usually nothing on Summit that's, like, funny. So you kind of think they're goofing off. Okay. Um, about the goofing off thing, I would say since, like, computers can be such a distraction and, like, you can easily just get on a different website and you can bookmark it so any time, like, the teacher's not looking, you can just go play on this game or this game or this website. Okay, so do you think if we were able to lock things down, not necessarily for everybody, but for people who don't respect the ability for the computer, lock that down, do you think that would help? Yeah, I think it would help. Okay. What did you have to say? Summit is a self-paced, self-learning way that you can get more independent, growing by, grow independent by yourself. Okay. I guess my next question is, what has been your experience with Summit Learning? You personally, do you like it? Do you not like it? Your experience. My experience is when I first came here, it was confusing and weird, and it, I thought everything was going to be on the computer. And then now that I get to it, in math class, we don't do much on the computer. And in science, we do experiments. It's just like normal learning. You just have self-based learning, and you can get ahead. And it allows you to do that. So I think it's a more effective way of learning. Okay. Uh, when I first learned about Summit, I was kind of like, I was confused too because I didn't know that like you could get ahead or like you could see your grades and it will be like self-based learning. And I also thought that math would be all on computers. I like it, but sometimes it can just be annoying because you, it's all on the computer. Like sometimes you get off of it like, not all the time in math class you'll get on it, but in some classes you stay on it and it makes your eyes hurt, it strains your brain and stuff. What I, like, what I was, what Gabby was talking about, um, whenever, whenever in math class I thought we were going to do math on the computer and how that would be really hard because some people don't know how to do math on computers. But you actually do it on paper, and yeah, that's much easier than I thought. 
I, re I really didn't want to do Summit when I first learned about it because to me, I didn't like switching ways. I like everything being the same. But once I got used to it and started to get on it every single day, I started to like it. Okay. What is one word that you could use to describe Summit? Fun. Self-based, is that one word? Yeah, that'll work. That's Hyphenated, we'll take it. Excellent. Okay. Independent. Anything, any, what, what word pops to the top of your head? Cool. Okay. All right, so my next question is gonna be um, a hypothetical scenario. Uh, let's pretend I am a school board member and I am going to a school board meeting tonight and I have to vote on whether or not we're going to have summit learning for seventh grade next year. How would you tell me to vote and why? I would say that I would want to have it next year because I know for me it's made my grades much better because I can get ahead and I can get more out of learning by doing all the resources that it gives you. So I would want you to vote yes. Okay. I would want you to vote yes because some of us, once we're done with sixth grade, we're already moving on to seventh. Like when we're done with a subject, we'll move on to seventh grade. So you already have some of it done. So you don't have to like some it won't be here next year you did all that work for nothing and then it's just gone so i have the same scenario um like with emily as i would say yes because some people in my class are already in seventh grade i would vote yes because like when we first learned about summit like it was difficult to like understand and then when we leave summit it's going to be like difficult to kind of get back on paper okay I would tell you to vote yes because I really like this better than being on paper all day and hurting your hands and being on computer, being on computer more and being more independent and don't need a teacher being all on my back and do, get to do my work and get ahead than the teacher have to hold my hand the whole time so I can learn more and be more independent. So I, I, it can be like when I grow up and be by myself. Okay. <clears throat> One of the criticisms of Summit Learning is that you are on a computer all day long and your teachers don't teach. Can you address that? Is that true? Um, it's not true because the teachers do teach like in every subject they teach but mon like in math class she teaches a whole lesson because we mainly do it on paper and it's not just the computer teaching us math like they'll teach a lesson but the checkpoints I would say the checkpoints are just to like make sure we have a good understanding of that part of the project we're doing okay most people do think it's on computers all day and at first when I started this I thought that it was like that too but my teacher, they teach a lot, and we do presentations that are off the computer. We do experiments. We do a bunch of stuff with partners, and it's not all on the computer. It just may look like that because it's set up on the computer. Okay. Like both of them said, yes, the teachers do teach all the time, but just because it's based off the computer, it doesn't mean that we're on the computer all day. The teachers teach a lot every single day, trying to get us better. Because that, that's been one of the major criticisms of Summit, is, has been the computer, has been that you guys just come in in the morning and you're on that computer and you don't really do anything all day. How does that make you feel when you hear people make that accusation? Um, it... <clears throat> It makes me feel upset because I th it makes me feel like they say that I don't work every day or like that our teachers don't do anything for us when they really do. Yeah, like Astacia said, um, 
my dad used to say that all the time, and it would make me very upset with him because I'm doing work. And even if it's on the computer, it's still work that we would be doing in class. I'm just doing it by myself. Um, so do you think you as a learner, as a student, have changed because of Summit Learning? Do you think it's made you a different type of student? Um, I do think that it changed me a little bit because I think it made, like, that part of me want to, like, have better grades and work harder and focus more. Okay. Like I said earlier, it's made me a better student by my grades are much better than they were last year because I think I'm doing it more on my own, which makes me more of an independent learner, which would be good for the rest of my life in college and other places. Okay. Yes. Uh, it... I have less papers that I have to cram in my backpack or put in my binder when because I all I do it on mostly computer so it made me better made me a better learner and my grades they're way better than what they were last year compared to this year they're way better it sounds like it helps you stay organized okay um, has it changed the relationship that you have with your teachers can you talk about that some? Um, it did change the relationship with our teachers because in like, when we didn't have computers in like fifth and fourth grade and like other grades, we actually, they would like talk more and we would talk more to them. But it also doesn't really change because you also get to talk to your teacher, that which is for mentoring, and you can talk about grades or you can talk about like who to catch up on. And so you can talk to both. Okay. I think it does change a lot because the past years I knew about my teacher but I didn't know her. I knew what she liked but I didn't know her really as much as I do now because we have mentoring and me and my teacher don't just talk about school, we talk about other things with school and it just makes me feel safer at school I think. Okay. No, to me, it really didn't change the relationship that I have with my teacher because the teacher and the teacher and me always had a great relationship. And with mentoring, it got even better because we can talk about things outside of life and things outside of life and things going on in my life and stuff. Okay. Um, do you think that Summit has helped with discipline issues. Do you see people getting in trouble as often? Do you see people trying to disrupt class as often? Has that changed? Is it about normal? I would say, like, it kind of does discipline them because, like, sometimes they disrupt the class. Like, if a teacher has to go up to them and tell them, hey, you need to get off this website or you need a focus or something like that, then it'll disrupt the class and it'll make them off track. And so what one student does will have like a ripple effect on the other students. Okay. Well, my class is very rowdy. So I've had rowdy classes in the past and it hasn't really changed till now. My class likes to talk a lot, but they will also get disciplined for it. Like we have eraser cups in our class, which it sort of works, but some it is more disciplined because you have deadlines. And if you don't get that deadline done where a project's supposed to be done then, then you're gonna have to work on that. And while we'll be doing something else, you're gonna be out in the hall working on that and you won't get that done, so. Okay. Sometimes it it does help because, like Hallie said, the, the due dates and stuff, like if you're ahead 
we'll have reward parties if you get on the line. There's a line on our thing that you have to have the due dates. It helps because we have reward parties, and if you're not ahead or caught up, you don't get to go to the reward party. Okay. If there's one thing that you could tell people in Chester County, in Tennessee, in the world about what you, you have done this year with Summit Learning, what is something that you would tell them? What do you want people to remember about your group going through Summit Learning? Um, that I would say that it was, to me, in my opinion, it hasn't been like the most or the least, but I feel like it has been pretty successful with kids getting used to it and their grades getting better and them more focused on the things that they have to do. Okay. Well, I've heard from Miss Belinda, and she says that our case scores and everything else of sixth grade have been very high, higher than they were when seventh grade was in sixth grade. So she thinks it's more effective, and I do. I think that too. Okay. Yes, the scores have been higher, so I think it's more effective because more kids are learning than goofing off in class when like when the teacher was doing something when we were on paper or pencil like more kids w were goofing off but when we're on summit more kids are disciplined than what it was okay um, is there anything else that you want to share with me any other thoughts anything Anything you dislike about Summit? No? All right, well, I appreciate you coming in this morning and talking to me.